Hypersonic Innovation The U.S. develops a jet to challenge China and surpass the SR-72. As the hypersonic aviation race heats up, the U.S. is stepping up to challenge China with a top-secret aircraft that not only aims to outpace the SR-72, but also reaches astounding speeds five times faster than the speed of sound. In the latter half of the 20th century, supersonic aircraft captured the world's imagination, and even now, engineers are tirelessly working to break new speed records. Today, we delve into the story of an American startup that aims to create an aircraft capable of outpacing giants like the Lockheed SR-72. Hailing from Atlanta, Georgia, Hermius is a startup specializing in developing commercial hypersonic airliners. In 2018, a team of experts from SpaceX and Blue Origin, led by CEO A.J. Piplica, embarked on a journey to bring new space to aviation. Previously, new space referred to aerospace companies that operated commercially to provide affordable access to space. But now, this team envisions a world where planes can whisk passengers across the Atlantic in just 90 minutes. Introducing the Quarter Horse an aircraft named after its swift equine counterpart, which promises to cover distances at remarkable speeds. In 2019, Hermius announced the development of a hypersonic unmanned aircraft. By August 2020, the startup had secured a $1.5 million contract with the U.S. Air Force, which sees the Quarter Horse as a potential addition to the U.S. Presidential Fleet and Air Force One. In 2021, NASA also expressed interest in collaborating with Hermius to create a unique aircraft capable of reaching Mach 5 and covering 4,600 miles. NASA's history with hypersonic vehicles dates back to projects like the X-15, a manned rocket plane that reached Mach 6.7. Now, with the enigmatic and ambitious Quarter Horse project, the world eagerly awaits the next chapter in the story of hypersonic aircraft and the mysterious possibilities they hold for the future of aviation. In 1967, NASA introduced the world to the hypersonic X-15 rocket plane, followed by the X-43 experimental aircraft, which shattered records by reaching Mach 9.6. Now, 17 years after the X-43's debut, NASA sees the Quarter Horse Project as a prime opportunity to venture into the realm of hypersonic passenger aircraft. By collaborating with the Hermius team, NASA specialists aim to assess the aircraft's technological maturity and exchange insights to develop this futuristic mode of transportation most effectively. The partnership teams will apply and test their technical solutions on the GE J8521 jet engine, which serves as the foundation of the new TBCC turbine-based combined cycle engine. The same J-85 engines were used in the Northrop F-5 jets, showcasing their reliability and durability in American aviation. As Hermius expanded, they acquired six more of these engines, paving the way for the creation of their patented TBCC Chimera. Defying skeptics, Hermius engineers successfully completed development tests of key subscale elements for their propulsion system under Mach 5 conditions just two years after announcing plans to develop the 20-seat hypersonic quarter horse. The startup then moved on to construct a larger testbed to evaluate the full-scale flight version of the TBCC engine. The Hermius concept relies on a TBCC engine that incorporates a ramjet instead of a supersonic combustion ramjet or scramjet. Initial testing of a small-scale prototype in 2019 and 2020 used a production 290-pound thrust TJ100 turbojet engine supplied by Czech high-speed turbine manufacturer PBS. The combined cycle elements include a pre-cooler of their own design and a ramjet engine. 
as the world watches with bated breath, the enigmatic quarter horse project represents a daring leap forward in hypersonic aviation. Through this ambitious collaboration, NASA and Hermes are pushing the boundaries of what was once thought possible, bringing us closer to a future where crossing the Atlantic in just 90 minutes could become a reality. The turbojet is engineered to operate from a standstill up to Mach 3.3 while the ramjet functions in a traditional range from approximately Mach 2.8 to over Mach 3 and beyond, propelling the aircraft to Mach 5. The Hermes team initiated static testing at their first facility, Site 27, a repurposed shipping container named for its location adjacent to the decommissioned Runway 27 at DeKalb Peachtree Airport. In just 33 days, the facility was prepared and within four weeks, the team completed 50 test runs with the GE J85-21 engine. During these tests, engineers accelerated the turbojet to Mach 3.2 using a pre-cooler before transitioning the prototype to the ramjet mode, where it accelerated exclusively within the Mach 4 to 5 range. The challenge then became switching the engine from turbojet mode, Mach 0 to 3, to ramjet mode, Mach 3 to 5. Integrated propulsion testing was conducted to determine whether the design could insulate the turbojet from the intense heat generated by the ramjet during high-speed cruising at inlet temperatures of about 1,800 degrees Fahrenheit. In interviews, Hermes CEO AJ Paplika explained that their TBCC engine had a mass flow rate 10 times greater than the test prototype. He added that the team developed a pressure burner and nozzle for the engine's rear end, a ram burner and nozzle for its back, as well as a bypass system inlet and pre-cooler. In the summer of 2022, the startup showcased their Chimera work, igniting an afterburner at their test site in Atlanta. This marked the final step in the static test campaign at sea level, proving the team could run their patented engine at full throttle on the ground. However, with the quarter horse expected to fly at altitudes exceeding 80,000 feet and face extreme temperatures, the specialists knew their work was far from over. They prepared to embark on their next round of rigorous testing to further refine and perfect their groundbreaking hypersonic technology. As the world looks on with intrigue, the quarter horse project stands as a testament to the relentless pursuit of innovation in aviation. The collaboration between Hermes and NASA promises to unlock new possibilities for hypersonic travel, potentially transforming the way we traverse the globe and bringing us closer to a future where 90-minute transatlantic flights become the norm. In a mysterious turn of events, the Turbo Machinery Laboratory at the University of Notre Dame became the testing ground for Hermes' groundbreaking creation. This facility enabled the team to simulate flight-like pressures and temperatures by connecting their heated air supply directly to their cutting-edge engine. In November 2022, Hermes unveiled the transition from a turbojet to a ramjet engine in a new video, showcasing the impressive Chimera's capabilities. Remarkably, they achieved this feat in just 21 months and with a budget of $18 million. Here's how the transition from one mode to another unfolds. At low speeds, the Chimera operates in turbojet mode, like any other jet aircraft. However, as the temperature and speed of the incoming air increases, the turbojets reach their limits, which occurs at around Mach 2. That's when the Chimera's pre-cooler comes into play, lowering the temperature of the air entering the turbojet, allowing for enhanced performance before switching to a ramjet engine. At around Mach 3, the Chimera starts bypassing the incoming air around the turbojet, and the ramjet takes over. A ramjet compresses the incoming air at high pressure, mixing fuel with the compressed air and igniting it for thrust. In the realm of hypersonics, Hermes's TBCC engine is a true innovation. By developing a full-range hypersonic air-breathing engine that doesn't require a rocket for acceleration, the startup is paving the way for reusable, operational hypersonic aircraft. An added advantage of this engine design is its adaptability to existing transportation infrastructure. 
quarter horse aircraft, and other Hermes projects can be used at conventional airports. Another intriguing aspect is that approximately 15% of the engine was produced using 3D printing technology, significantly accelerating its production and adding an air of mystique to this already enigmatic project. In an ambitious move, the engineers acquired Sapphire and large format Sapphire XC printers from Velo 3D to produce parts for not only the engine but the entire aircraft as well. These models have been calibrated to work with the Connell 718 Super Alloy. Notably, Velo 3D's additive metal manufacturing technology has gained popularity in the hypersonic and space industries for its ability to create complex, critical parts without compromising design quality or performance. As the aircraft will be unmanned, its flight deck was designed from the ground up to support off-grid, standalone operations in austere environments. It includes room for a pilot, payload operator, mission analysts, and observers. A dedicated high-performance computing center, HPCC, features an isolated climate control zone to protect mission-critical flight equipment. The HPCC supports dual redundant cloud-based computing and power architecture in line with DOD RPA CONOPS requirements, utilizing advanced rapid prototyping, artificial intelligence, and machine learning technologies. Furthermore, the flight deck meets DOD secure room standards, allowing for turnkey open storage, video conferencing, and operations. Impressively, the control center fits in an unmarked intermodal container, enabling worldwide deployment. Specific dimensions and final costs for the quarter horse are yet to be confirmed, but 2021 data suggests that the aircraft could be around 40 feet long with a 10-foot wingspan. The true specifications should be verifiable in 2024 when Hermes plans to conduct its first flight test. By 2025, the company aims to introduce a medium cargo version, and by 2029, they hope to launch the world's first commercial passenger quarter horse. The term game changer is often overused in technology, but hypersonic aircraft and their engines have the potential to revolutionize travel, much like automobiles did. We'll be closely following these developments and keeping you updated on the latest in the industry. Do you think Hermes will achieve its first commercial hypersonic flight with passengers before 2030? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell for more content like this. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.